have been passing this bright yellow fruit hanging from the bushes. This is what we call it Sodom Apple, common name, Solanum Incanum, Latin name. Commonly we call it Sodom Apple. Kiswahili we call it Ndulele. The sap, the juice out of this fruit, when it's yellow, it starts to be green, then with zebra lines, whitish, and then turns yellow. When it's yellow, it's ripe. So the juice out of this fruit works 100% exactly in the iodine that we use if you have any fresh cut. So out here, when we go out in the old days, you don't need to think of carrying a medical kit with you because this is there for any fresh cut, like running in the bush, you get cut by a tree or something, or bones of the acacia tree. You make a small hole in it, squeeze it, you get greenish juice out of it. It's fix the wound. The baboons do it as a medicine, not uh, as their diet. So sometimes you see the baboons are rushing to this type of bushes, the Solana Mincanum, eat a few, like two, three, four fruits and then they go. The leaves looks very soft. The flower I dropped off, I pick it with a flower. It's a purple. It's got a lot of pollen, so bees loves it. Not today, but in the past days, this was used as a toilet paper. So if it's growing within your area, you don't need to uproot it because you're gonna use it. Interesting. I can pass it around, you can feel it. Even today, we are using this for washing dishes. Because you don't need a lot of soap if you use this for washing your dishes. Really? As you know, we slaughter and we eat a lot of fat. So washing the dishes requires a lot of soap. Instead, you take the leaves of the Solana Mikanam or Soda Maple to wash your dishes. Simple and easy. Today we don't use it a lot as a toilet paper. The stick, the bush, the stem of the bush is the best toothbrush even today. The roots from the same bush. The street. Giraffe in the street. The giraffe on the road. Hey. Wow, it looks oh cool. My God. Oh, oh, and the baby giraffe on the right side. So just be silent. Yeah, that's not right here. That was cool. So mama puts mama. So you can come up one by one if you want to take a photo. You can come and stand here. And then we're like, they were going to yell to get in the way, so we can ride, drive again. Okay, got it. So you can take can, take photos, and then move. Are we going to yell so we get to the other way? Yelling will chase that animal away. Yes, he's the animal, right? And there's a zebra to the left. Really close. Let me get this one, too. Oh, I need this guy to get its eyes away. Oh, there's a giraffe, too. Yeah, that's in the middle of the street. Did you get notice it? You can come up. I'm going to leave. Okay. Let me see it. He said we can swap out one by one. Yeah, yeah. That's better. Is there a way to... Oh, she's... Oh, she's... Oh, he did oh. We'll move a bit forward. So fairly close. Yeah. Actually, that's going to be a good angle. Just hold on. Just hold on. We'll move a bit forward, then you can cut through the window. Cut it through the window. Hi! Please, please be silent, eh? She's a little bit irritated because oh, she is with the baby. I can tell so I can tell so woman because the eyebrows. So you can take the picture through the glass. And another coming in front. Oh yeah. Right. Just when we took the safari is over more animals. And then we have flamingos that I've never seen in my life. Yeah, two, three, four giraffes. I finally five get, giraffe I finally get to see flamingos move out my way, Sean. Please. 
I keep finally get to see Flamingos. Can I step on my stuff? I know. I just get, I never seen Flamingos before. I've never seen Flamingos before. Come on, let's get the Flamingos. All I did is take one picture of Flamingos. Yes. No, four giraffes. There's four giraffes. <gasps> so many epic giraffes. Last time, Dragon Ball Adventure. We were taking pictures of such giraffes. Your phone has better quality. Oh yeah, flamingos. I still want freshly cooked flamingos. That's been a dream of mine. Just eat a freshly cooked flamingo. I wonder if drawers make a noise. Have they been identified? No. You don't like track them. That's no, a male. That's a male. Yeah. You can tell what they are from their eyebrows. Not from the horn. No, I tell what they are from their eyebrows. Okay. Thank you for having me. Right, family, as we are headed out of the national park, nice, a nice view of some nice, good yes. close up with animals, That's flamingos, just nice stuff for zebra a giraffe. and giraffe. Incredible. Flamingos are using this area or the lakes here as a feeding site, but they breed in Lake Natural, which is in the eastern part of Gorongoro Conservation Area. So they fly in here for some days and then they fly out. They don't stay for a long time since this is not a breeding site. So water park just running out. Bush park crossing. Make sure you got that bush back, right? Was it, was it too fast for you? Too fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah that thing just ran. As soon as we turned this way, family, it just chung. <laughs> we are heading out to the national park. What a wonderful, what a wonderful the journey through the national park. This is incredible. Look at the flamingos. Flamingos. No, I thought I saw you. Very few. Okay. Yeah, but very few. We have hippos here, and the water bodies are very deep, and they don't like deep water. Okay. Hippos are not good swimmers as the elephants. Elephants can swim better than the hippos. So they need to touch the floor when they are in the water. Okay. How long can they stay on the water? Totally immersed under the water, five minutes. They cannot stay longer because they are not, uh, they don't have like gills, they cannot breathe under the water. 
if you find the hippos sleeping, you'll find two black spots pointing out that That's those right. are the nose. That's right. So they they know how to handle them. That's a perfect. Uh, we are heading out. Yeah, we're heading toward the exit. It may take uh, like 45 minutes. It depends on what we we'll see on the way. But um, it may be plus of the time if something good comes, something nice comes out. I'm sure we won't pass it because we're rushing to the gate. We'll give it time. As I say today morning, we are not. The time is not driving us. We are the one who's driving the time. Okay. Oh, look at this. Stop. Stop your miracle. Stop your miracle. Stop. Right in the bushes. The bush bug. Wait, don't touch. I'm going to get a picture. Those are the bush bug. They don't really wait for a long time. They think we can't see it. Stop running, boy. The boy ran. Don't hang out. For money? Yeah. It's a troop of baboons ahead of us. Boy is just quiet. Maybe she's just she's just so stupid. You. <laughs> but these two ones are in good relationship. Look at the baby sitting in a park. Baby yeah. riding its mother. See Arakishi. Oh, you got it. Baby riding its mother. them uh, in a lookout point. Uh, first for the safety, secondly to see animals movement. They, during the research they also put night cameras out on the trees, rocks, to see who is here. Because sometimes there are animals that you cannot see in the daytime. There are animals that are not active at all when there's human presence around. So putting out those cameras, you can see them. To know that what you have here in the park. Grande. Grande. 